Maggot alert, maggot alert, here's a maggot alert. Maggot alert, maggot alert, here's a maggot alert. Wow, I think I seen an article on this clown months ago. I thought it was a girl though at first, talking about a Milo Yiannopoulos or whatever. I thought that was him, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong if it's not. This idiot basically is uh, what, um, what I consider a sock puppet for white supremacists. He's not white, but he's the sock puppet. He, you know, basically has their hand up his ass. And he has the same talking points as all these alt-trite idiots. Basically, talking about black people in Japan and how they cause all this violence and stuff like that and just the whole horse and pony thing. You know, all of this stuff sounds like Jared Taylor was basically kind of like kissing his ear or something like that or spitting in his ear, or maybe doing something else in his mouth. So he's spitting out all this, all these things and then basically complaining about Black Lives Matter and about how police happen to shoot blacks. Really? Well, here's a question for you. His name is No But To. That's what I call him, No But To. With all that, why are there even whites that pretty much don't get shot like that. Now people will say well there's more whites that get killed uh, than blacks but then they'll use the statistic that there's less black people that are in existence and we have over the crime rate. Well could the same thing work for us when it comes to the police thing too? There's less numbers of us but we get shot more and also with such alleged stupidity well I won't even say alleged stupidity in his case that's kind of wrong for me to say that blatant stupidity and ignorance this fob fob like fresh off the boat idiot basically had somebody in his ear complains about black people attacking him because of something that he said well stupid look at what you're saying you're talking about stuff that you do not know for one and two think about it even getting back to that fake ass statistic when it comes to basically blacks being shot it's usually unarmed in that sense. Not only that, when you think about crime, what you don't know is that there are, there's always been two systems of crime that have criminalized, criminalized blacks more than even white people, especially when it comes to any crime, really. You know, certain crimes have even had different names racially. I'm trying to make this video short. I, I know it's going to be a little longer than I want but I just have some things that I'm going to point out. When you think of crime in America, people always have had this stereotype with black people, but that goes way back to after slavery with vagrancy laws and all that to put black people back into slavery. There's been, luckily, some exonerations that have come as of late of so many black people that have been convicted of crimes that they didn't do. And then you even have some blacks that are waiting to you know, that have been arrested and, and still people are pending, you know, investigations on them without even knowing what, what they're being arrested for. Not only that, you have affluenza kids and all that, or Brock Turners that get off, or, you know, like that kid that, those kids that sodomize that other kid um, with a hanger, yet the Chicago kids that beat that other that that white kid up got got put in jail not I'm, I'm not saying that that was good but the thing is this just gives you a glimpse of the color of crime in this country and for this idiot to start talking all of his crap against black people and then talking about like how much they bring over crime in japan well it wasn't for, for, for one it wasn't us that dropped the bomb on you which was horrible it wasn't us that put you in internment camps over here in America either, which is also horrible. When you talk about that, also think about this. A lot of, this, a lot of the crime in your country basically kind of goes kind of unsaid in a lot of ways from things that I've read. If you want to play the, the foreign dude looking at American culture, and I have Japanese friends that are cool, that I'm cool with. And there's even a Japanese YouTuber that I would actually have everybody look at versus this idiot right here. Yuta, the Japanese guy, is really cool. He actually 
talks about a lot of this stuff and he's a proponent of basically trying to understand and, 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 and bridge the gap between Japanese people and Americans, especially black Americans. But idiots and shills like this are apologists for white supremacists. So here's a question I'll have for you, no but to. What about all the freaking rape porn over there? What about what happened to Junko Furuta? How come her killers never got put in jail the way that they should have been? What about that cannibal that's over there that basically ate a white woman and got off? You know, there's a lot of crimes that you guys have, you know, <laughs> pretty much are notorious for. You know, some of the things I'm not even going to say. But don't think that you're all that pure. You're not. And crimes that you've done in other countries, like in China, which is why Chinese have a lot of beef against you, too. Or in the Philippines. In Korea. I found out the hard way about basically getting China, uh, Japanese c confused with Koreans by what a friend of mine told me when I did get them mixed up. So, yeah. And I'll tell you this. Don't talk about other people's crimes when you haven't dealt with yours and the injustice in, in, in the way that you guys traditionally have even treated women. Not all, but from what some of the things in the culture represent, it doesn't seem that respectful. Yeah. Anyways, maggot alert. <laughs>